Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Real quick, man, before we get into the meat and potatoes, man, shout out to the print champs. The Hurt Season Buckets jumping out the gym. They flying off the shelves. Make sure y'all tap in with the home team and make sure you go ahead and grab your bucket, your hat, whatever you do today. Also, the Devontae Smith Rock, Paper, Scissors shirts also doing really, really well in the Eagles community. So make sure you grab yours today. This weekend only, you know, uh, DM me. I'll give you a code off, a little code off on something. You know what I'm saying? Please, please, while supplies last, make sure you go ahead and get that, man. Real quick, man, let's get into the meat and potatoes, man. So, Jamie Newman. Jamie Newman was waived today, this afternoon sometime. Um... That kind of that's kind that's kind of not an ideal situation, man. I thought Jamie Newman was going to be one of those guys that would be able to, you know, make a strong case, a strong strong case for, um, you know, a quarterback that could compete for, uh, you know, not a starting position because we know it's hurt season, but a quarterback that could compete for some, you know, for some time. You know what I mean? You, you know, a third string quarterback behind Flacco possibly moving into a second string role, you know what I'm saying, behind Jalen Hurts, you know what I mean? Jamie Newman was a guy that a lot of people looked at, a lot of people, you know, had a good feeling about, you know, in college. All of a sudden, as soon as he became a Philadelphia Eagles, every, everybody wanted to say he was a bum when we picked him up as a, you know, undrafted free agent. But it is what it is, man. I want to ask, I ask myself this question when I'm talking about and thinking about the situation, you know, that happened with Jamie Newman. What was he not doing? What is it that the coaching staff saw that said, listen, man, we only X amount of weeks into camp that we could get rid of this dude. What is it that the coaching staff saw? What was he not doing? I mean, because I think that's kind of fast for us to, you know, be getting rid of somebody, you know what I mean? In my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just mind boggling to me. So I, I want to, you know, there's no tape out. You're not going to be able to dive deep into it, but this leaves a void. This leaves some questions to be asked. Who are we going to bring in now to compete with Jalen Hurts and to compete with Joe Flacco at the quarterback position? Listen, the job is Jalen Hurts' job. Jalen Hurts ain't losing his job. That never was a thought in my mind. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Jalen Hurts going to go out there and do what he got to do. He's, he's the QB one. Everybody knows that. But we only got two quarterbacks on the roster. You're going to need another quarterback. The rest of the undrafted quarterbacks from this year's draft class, it's a guy from uh, Northwestern. I was looking at him just, just to skim to see who was available. A lot of them guys buns, and they're not going to make the cut either. They're not going to be no better than Jamie Newman. So you know what I mean? It's a sticky situation to be in if you're the Philadelphia Eagles looking for a quarterback to compete for some playing time. Also, Trayvon Grimes was waived. Now, we all know Trayvon, Trayvon Grimes was a guy that had tremendous upside. We all thought very, very highly of Trayvon Grimes. And, you know, the size. We haven't had a guy that of that size who could do some of the things that he can do from an athletic standpoint since Terrell Owens. We had high praise for Trayvon Grimes. Undrafted. But, you know, reports came out sometime last week that he was going through uh, a knee procedure. And, you know, an undrafted free agent wide receiver going through a knee procedure. What's the likelihood of us keeping them around? It just don't make no sense. Let him get healthy. Let somebody else pick him up. We can't waste a spot on an undrafted free agent who got knee problems. It just don't make no sense. It sucks that we don't get to see the, you know, the potential of Trayvon Grimes, but this could be another opportunity and another rebirth for guys like Ortega Whiteside. You know, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid we give him another, another 20,000, 20, chance. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. That's how I was looking, man. Also, man, listen, man, Father's Day is coming up, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the fathers, you know what I'm saying? I'm out and about right now, you know what I mean? Um, my wife booked this real trip for me and her, this real nice trip for me and her dad, you know what I'm saying? We out, you know, palm trees all over the place, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, make sure you take care of your, yours, you know, your, your peoples for Father's Day. Tap in the Manscaped, you know what I'm saying? Use Cold Brunson, save yourself 20% off. Get the free shipping, and the free shipping I fought for that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if you're having a hard time figuring out something for Pops, go to Manscaped, put in Brunson, man. Get them savings and get that free shipping. Take care of Pops, man. They got some of the best products in, in, the, in the land. You already know the vibes, man. Let's talk sixes real quick. So the sixes did even up the series yesterday. It's 1-1. I'm surprised to see Trayvon. I'm still talking about Trayvon Grimes. So that's a hurt piece to me. But I'm surprised to see, um, you know, how well the trap worked 
the trap really worked against Trey Young. The trap worked, you know, to perfection. The 76ers found a way to shut down Trey Young, in my opinion. Now, Trey Young still finished with about 26 points, but he had like 16 points going into the fourth quarter. You're talking about a dude who could shoot from the logo. The length and athleticism and implement and, you know, Matisse Stiebel and some of these trap situations was just brilliant. And how about Doc Rivers having that, you know, having the wisdom and the moxie to be able to put dudes in position to succeed? You know what I'm saying? Shake Milton, 11 minutes off the bench and 14 points. You know, he has been a bit of a disappointment in the entire playoffs, but Shake Milton coming alive for us. You know what I'm saying? Ben Simmons playing sturdy defense. Um, Joel Embiid, I, you know, it's a toss up between who's been the most dominant, who was the most dominant guy in the first round of the playoffs to me. You know what I'm saying? I think Tobias Harris was the most dominant in the first round, but Joel Embiid, even after the meniscus tear, is proven to be the most dominant guy in the, in the NBA right now. They snubbed my man out of that, uh, out of that, you know, out of that MVP award. They snubbed my man, man. Jokic ain't better than Joel, but Jokic ain't no slouch. We're not going to act like it, man. But, you know, the 76ers, man, we got to go into Atlanta. I, you, you know, I don't want the Hawks to win another series, another another game in a series, but it is what it is, man. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a young up-and-coming team. They got some shooters. They got some perimeter players, but I think we got the defense that can slow them down. You know what I'm saying? Playoff basketball is, you know, it's brilliant. Playoff basketball is marvelous. And it's 1-1 for, uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, it wasn't always easy in yesterday's game, but I think we made our bones and I think we found a formula, you know, to distract Trey, to distract Trey Young. Because when you trap Trey Young, he's going to look to throw the lob or he's going to look to hit that floater. But you know what it is what it is, man. The Philadelphia um, 76ers did their job on that part, man. So, yo, let me know what you think in the comments, man. Make sure you tap in with Manscaped. You know what I'm saying? Another video coming tomorrow. We're going to keep the content pumping, man. It's always good to do content when you, you know, in a different location, man. And be able to shoot from different areas, get y'all different angles. You know what I'm saying? While I'm hanging out with the family. So, you know, shout out to y'all, man. You know the vibes, man.